Thank you. Okay, let's get right to it here. First of all, a very big uh, thank you for coming out today. To you who are affiliates, some of you affiliates are in the process of waking up again because we have a whole new carrot bars before us. And to you who are guests in the room, thank you for coming. Now I want everybody right now to fold your arms. That's right, fold your arms. Repeat after me, you can't tell me nothing. Because <laughs> that's what happens sometimes, doesn't it? So I'm gonna ask you to fold your arms the other way. That feels a bit uncomfortable, a bit strange. Some of you still challenge doing that. Roy, I see that. You're not able to accomplish that. I see you over there. We'll work on that later. Look, we're paradigm shifting here. We're paradigm shifting. We're looking at the world in a new way. And, and, and it's not easy. But I'm gonna say some things to you today and you gotta be open. Now, if you have questions, that's okay. If you have doubts, that too is okay, but make sure that you run the doubts to the end of the facts. Make sure you run your questions to the end of the questions so you get them answered. There's a lot of cynicism in this world, and there's a lot of non-truths. Got it? All right. Well, let's go. So six years ago, that gentleman right there, right there who has the same name as me, Greg Sukaroff, he came to me in church and he showed me this little card with a gram of gold in it and said, do you like gold? I said, I like gold. I was I'm buying gold and I was buying silver. He said, how would you like to help the world save gold and earn a little bit of money doing it? I watched every single video I could around the world. I said, who told you this? I want to meet with them. And Hell Neff. I went to see Hell Neff because I too was cynical and a disbeliever about some some of these things that are going on out there. Well, six years later, I tell you, I could not be happier that I got involved. This is the best time of my life. And part of that is because of carrot bars. All right. Well, it's time for some education. In the beginning, there was gold. And gold was money. And gold was good. <laughs> By the way, if you take the L out, that works really well too, folks. Good. Got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you with me? All right. So, in the beginning when people had gold and silver and they started accumulating it, something called a bank rose up. It didn't look quite like that. But they would go to the bank and put their gold and silver in the bank for safekeeping. And what they were given as a representation of the gold was something called a note. The guy would sign it, he'd put his stamp on it, and now you could go around and trade notes. And that's how it began. You were trading in notes. So now the gentleman who got the, the note went and bought a cow. But, so, but Farmer John could always go back to where? And get what? The real money. Is the note the real money? It was not the real money. It was the representation of money. Okay? And so he went back and he got his coins. Now look, what happened? Something happened, folks, and you got to know about it. A couple of years ago, I had the privilege of interviewing G. Edward Griffin. He is noted for uh, authoring the book called Jekyll Island. He was the first to come out in public to talk about what happened in 1913 on Jekyll Island, where some very wealthy and influential men gathered to design a strategy to create the Federal Reserve, a U.S. government institution. Aha! An educated audience. It is not a U.S. government in institution. It is a private banking cartel set up by some wealthy families. And they snuck it in under U.S. Congress's nose just before Christmas, and then it began. Did you know that the founding fathers of America fought to keep out the central banking system out of America? It's the very thing that they escaped out of Britain. And at the inception of the Federal Reserve, where the printing of money was in control of another entity outside the U.S. government, there began the devaluation of the U.S. dollar. Is it unique to USA? No. This is a smart audience. 
<laughs> you know, I actually, I'm, I'm actually finding more and more people are educated. It's like, it's like the tipping point has, has gone over, Greg. It's the tipping point has gone over. Okay. Uh, 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 so the red is the printing of money, the increase of the money supply. And there you see the Canadian dollar again. Now we can hold up a graphic for every currency in the world because once one nation starts printing, the other nations have to print too to keep up. Otherwise the dollar gets too strong and you can't trade in amongst the nations. But who's losing? Put up your hands and say we are losing. Sabres are losing. Kiyosaki says sabres are losers. If you're saving fiat currency, and not like a judgment, but you're you're not a loser, but you're losing. And if you keep doing it after this presentation, then you're a loser, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Thou shalt not judge, right? Okay, so question. What is the definition of inflation? Rising prices or the printing of money? Did you know that if you look it up in Webster's, it actually says inflation is the printing of money? Did you know that? It's not the rise in prices. Actually, pr many prices in many realms have gone down. Look at bread. I mean, I remember when bread was 10 cents in my home. I know you're thinking, hey, it's not that old. That's impossible. It was. And now what is it? Five bucks? I've seen it for six and seven dollars now. But they tell us the real rate of inflation is one or two percent. It is not. Go to shadowstats.com. You'll find that it hovers around five percent a year. Shadowstats.com. Go and look for yourself. Homes are out of control. Okay, so why? Uh, we just talked about it. That is a graph of a lovely name for an evil thing. Quantitative easing. Why don't they just say we're going to print a whole bunch of money and make the money supply go vertical? Because that's exactly what happened and is happening. Printing of money, printing, the presses are running 24 hours a day here in Canada, in European Union and beyond. It's insane. But we have acquiesced. What does acquiesce mean? Lay down. Get, get me, who said lay down? Like a dead dog. It's, it's when something irritates you but you do nothing about it. I congratulate you. You're here to do something about it. Awesome. Okay, now what is cool? Okay, now many of you have seen this before, but it's worth saying every time. Gold holds its buying power. Gold holds its buying power. 1965, beautiful Mustang, 50 ounces of gold. Today, new Mustang, 50 ounces of gold. Here's a beautiful truck, Greg. I know you're looking for a new truck. How about that? Well, if your great-grandpa had saved 30 ounces of gold for you, same with clothing in Rome, ounce of gold, bought a really nice toga, and it's accoutrements, same today, 1965, and today. How much is an ounce of gold? 1,600? Well, does this look like a $1,600 suit? Don't answer that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, suit, shoes, belt, the whole, the whole business, right? A nice suit. You see, we can do this for e just about everything. Repeat after me. Gold holds its buying power. Gold holds its buying power. Thank you. All right. So, let's talk about this company called Carrot Bars. Carrot Bars. Okay. What in the beginning were we doing? And what are we still doing? Buying gold. That is an assortment of different currencies from around the world. We're in 130 nations. And we are not actually buying gold. I can come kiss you. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. We're trading our fiat paper devaluing nonsense currency toilet paper for real money. And we started off with uh, one gram, two and a half, and five gram cards. I've got a collection of them somewhere. Uh, so I was really happy. Every time I traded the fiat for the gold, something felt right inside. 
And then Carrot Bars came out with cash gold. Cash gold, uh, down to a tenth of a gram. Now some of you are thinking, well, why would we use a tenth of a gram? Because that makes the transactability extend further. And by the way, in some nations, a tenth of a gram of gold is a lot of money. And it's gonna help these farmers who are struggling, who've been uh, getting suckered from being in the USD dollar system and the reserve currency system. We're gonna be helping a lot of people. We already are, actually. Okay, I was just in Dubai, and uh, the word is that, by the way, I think if people at the back, if those doors are still open, it's noisy. If I can hear it from here, they can hear it from the back. Let's get those doors closed, please, thank you. So now we're into full transactable gold. And we became, in five years, the largest online seller of gold in the world. That's pretty good. So it became a multi-million dollar company, very successful, okay? Thank you, Carrot Parts. Now, meanwhile, far, far away, in another galaxy, something called Bitcoin emerged. It was a strange thing, and it moved over something called blockchain. How many of you have heard of Bitcoin? I still meet people who have not heard of it, by the way. Okay? You need to go help them. Okay? So, if back in 2008, when I heard about it, if you had spent a mere thousand dollars, you would have got 10,000 bitcoins. Are you there? Yeah. Today, I looked up the price yesterday, you'd have 69 million dollars in value. You missed it. You missed it. I missed it. Okay? Some wives are going, I told you to get some of that stuff. I told you. Why don't you listen to me more often? Okay, but guess what, guys and gals? Great news. There is another amazing opportunity. But listen, you got to get into this space where you're thinking, oh, that's just for them. They got lucky. Look at You are lucky today by being here. You are blessed today by being here. If you get this, you grab a hold of this, in a couple of years from now, not that money buys happiness, but it can sure help it along, you're gonna be very happy because you have that chance again, okay? So let's talk about what I call, and Greg Sukaroff calls Care Bars 2.0. So last January, they came out with a cryptocurrency. And what you could do is you could exchange your fiat currency for a cryptocurrency. But here's the difference. What backs Bitcoin? Gold. Nothing. 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 What backs Ethereum? Gold. The faith and confidence of the people is what determines the value, but it's backed by nothing. That's why it goes up and down. There's something called utility. And the utility it has is that it's A, private, B, fast, and C, low banking fees. And Manjeet's gonna come up and talk about that later. So we completed, we thought it would take a year or, a year or two to complete the pre-sale. It was done in three months, raised over $100 million. Very successful raise. They were shocked, we were all shocked. Now, what's the difference between this crypto, this digital gold system, and all others. Has anybody ever heard of anybody making a promise about a crypto that you get involved in? By the way, um, if you've ever lost in getting involved in another crypto, just kind of scratch your head like this. I'm scratching mine. <laughs> yeah. It's backed by gold. It was backed by gold. This gentleman, Howard uh, Harold Seitz, came out and said, we promise you can exchange 100 of these coins for a gram of gold in July 4, 2019. Now, that's never been done in the realm of crypto, but he did it. Now, when he said that, I, I was kind of like, uh, you know, how can he do that? Well, he did it because we have a mine. HSBC went and looked at the mine did an, looked at the audit statement and said, 
we'll underwrite that. Mr. Seitz, we'll underwrite your promise. So now the whole world, well, wasn't exposed to the whole world, but those in the know, know that it's a guaranteed backing. That was phenomenal. That was amazing. Here's our gold mine. 700 tons of gold is ours. How about that? Now we're in control, gaining control of the system. We're creating something outside of them. It becomes not theirs, but not theirs, but ours. And if you own the coins, the ours is legitimate. Okay? And there it began. Now, they started showing us, hey, we're actually putting gold into vaults. And we're like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Good. Okay. All right. They had a video of that. Okay? And then more things started happening. They kept keeping more promises. They put us on exchanges. And that gentleman there, his name is Joseph Haidt. I've met him twice, once in Germany, once in uh, Dubai. Uh, he came in, and he went out, and he's a billionaire, talked it up in Asia, and then the climb of the coin began. Okay, There he is in Hong Kong. They put in 1.4 tons of gold. Not those little kilogram bars, although that's not little, but now they're putting in tons. And with, there's a video out there, if you care to watch it, you can go find it. It's the real deal. It's that they searched the world for the safest jurisdiction and vault. They found it in Hong Kong, and we saw them putting in that gold. Now, who owns that gold? If you own the coins, you own the gold. It's ours, not theirs, okay? Now, uh, this is an example of one's portfolio and how it built over time. You know, and when, you, when you've got these things, this thing called crypto, this new thing that's kind of new and weird to you, outside of your normal sphere of understanding, and you go, oh yeah, it's one cent or half a cent. You're like, okay. Hardly feels valuable, you know, you put a thousand in or a couple thousand in or... Well, the, this example, uh, in the beginning, they had about $19,000 in a portfolio. And as a consequence of those things that I showed you previously, the confidence in this went up. 19 to 57. And by the way, this is all inside of a year and a half, right? 12 month period. 19,000, 57,000, 173,000, 260,000. What the heck? This is my portfolio. This is not mine. This is somebody else's. We can't name names. But look what happened. That's them then. And you have that opportunity now. Not making promises. You do your own due diligence. You do your own evaluation after being here today. It's your precious money. But we're showing you one example in the very recent future. Okay? Oh my. That's a happy dude. That's pretty good. Are you making that on your savings account? What's your bonds? Your RESP, your RRSP, your mutual funds, your daily allowance from your wife? No, probably not. So in this, in this period, in the last year, major crypto is going down, trending down. I mean, they've gone up and down, but trending down, and we saw our coin trending up. But wait, <laughs> there's more good news, okay? The problem with crypto is can you really use it? Are there Bitcoin centers all over Vancouver or wherever you're from? No, it's hard to use, okay? Now look, something happened with Bitcoin in Japan. Japan is the first country to make Bitcoin legal tender. Here we go, what's gonna happen? Millions of business are accepting bitcoins, okay? 40% of bitcoin transactions are happening in Japan. If you own bitcoin, go to Japan. Okay? Actually, they would care for us because you're going to want to swap it out at the end of today. Okay? So, there's an association of when a marketplace accepts it as a legitimate currency, causing it to value up. Does that make sense? It has a new utility. Ah, we can actually use this stuff. Not only can we use it, 
we can use it frequently in Japan, in the case of Bitcoin, okay? And massive financial industry based on Japan, that's what's possible to tap into. Now, <laughs> we've seen what has happened with some cryptos backed by Mapbang. We've learned about the value of gold. By the way, what do the markets do when things start crashing? Do you know what they run to? Gold and silver. They run to gold and silver. They run to gold and silver. They start dumping their stocks and they run to get gold and silver. Why? Because gold holds its value. So, pair of bars 3.0. Now you can't see that very well and I apologize for that. But what I'm going to explain in a minute is carrot bars is not just a gold-backed crypto. It is an intelligent financial ecosystem. We call it carrot bars universe. And it can be your universe. It's mine now. We have a mine. We have three mines down here. Three. Three mines because we need them. We have the world's first fully licensed crypto bank in Florida. We have a vault in Hong Kong. We've got call centers in Dubai. We're making a cash gold in, uh, in Singapore. This is not a schmaltzy operation anymore. This thing is huge. We're opening up a digital stock exchange. A regular crypto exchange, which by the way, these exchanges don't make millions, they make billions. And all these entities, I call them profit wheels, they're spinning into this bank. And when you own the coin, you own the And everything happens. And everything happening in it. So it's not, this thing is not just gonna value up because of the market conditions, which can happen in a stock, and which can ha which really happens in a lot of cryptos. It's valuing up with equity. Equity means it's real money, it's real value, but we know it's not real money. What are they doing with the equity coming into this? 50% on an infrastructure build, 50%, we take gold out of mines, and we put it where? And who owns it? Come on, are you kidding me? I don't know if I have this slide in or not, but Greg Sukarov, he's, he's the master of metaphors. He says, look, with these other companies and these other cryptos, yeah, they can get, it's like a hundred story building. Well, actually with Bitcoin, it was like a thousand story building. And the elevator went shooting straight up, right? Huge value, floor after floor after floor, made it up to the 900th floor, but it came screaming back down again. Now here's what happens in Carapars. That elevator, he says, it can't go back down again. Why? Because they take the assets that come into the company, the fiat currency, we buy gold, and it's like it goes into that elevator shaft. Hey, guess what? The price can't drop anymore. I think it'll fluctuate a bit. But it's real value. It's not market value, it's real value, Brian, and you own it. That's good news. Do you get that? Do you really get that? You gotta get this, this is the key. <laughs> Devaluating fiat currency in your hand or your bank accounts or bonds or whatever, or who here calls it this? It's not savings accounts, it's expense accounts. Is that yours too? <laughs> no, James Dean Warwick said that. Devaluing fiat currency, but now you've got a valuing digital asset backed by real gold. It's not gonna keep, it's not gonna drop. It's just gonna keep going up and up and up and up and up. It's good news, okay? And now comes the commerce system to go with it. We were promised carrot pay, a way to transact in gold online. And we went to Dubai. How many were in Dubai? Wow, it's great. We were in Dubai and they launched it. You're gonna hear more about that in a couple minutes. But now we have a way we can take our phone. Ah, what do you sell it? Carpeting? Okay. I come to your carpeting center. 
You take my phone, you're all set up in the system. Oh, by the way, it's free. It's free. You don't pay 2% fees, it's free. In fact, you're gonna make a little bit of money off it. I'm gonna go Zot, and you're gonna receive my payment, my KBC gold-backed cryptocurrency. How about that? It's here, you're gonna hear more about it, okay? Amazing features, you've got a back office, it's all set up for you. And now we're just marching it out. Now our cryptocurrency is usable in the market and anybody in these 130 countries and beyond can use it. And when they receive it, they can keep it as KBC coins, the gold-backed cryptocurrency, they can receive Bitcoin. It, it all comes through this system. It's the world's first. Are you excited or no? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Lots of plugins into this. It can integrate with other systems. I mean, these guys that we have on our team, they're geniuses. By the way, you're going to hear the word Ovidio Toma a lot. He's the brains behind this whole back system. Here's the thing they don't third party out anything in Terracars anymore. You can't trust it. It's all being done in house. All our system. It's our system, our system, our system. We have control of it. And when you own the coin, you're a part of all of it. Okay? You'll learn more about this later, but that's a quick shot of the. Uh... By the way, uh, there's two presentations today, right? Some of you guests may leave. I encourage you to stay, but some of you may leave. So we just want to give you a quick snapshot. We're going to go deeper in explanations on these, so I'm not going to go too deep on this. Just know. Thank you, Frank. Uh, just know that it's all set up for you, okay? So, uh, no fees, that's huge. And who who's, owns their own shop here or company? Yeah, you're paying out a bit of money in fees? Yeah, like thousands of dollars a year, okay? So there's merchant advantages and there's customer advantages. They're huge, it's easy, it's simple. Uh, I'll leave it to one of the other presenters to explain that at a deeper level, okay? It's just phenomenal, okay? But wait, there's more. <laughs> Listen. How many know that your phone calls are listened to? Can I see your hands? <laughs> wow. How many know that you should, you know the little camera on your, on your iPad or your how many know that you should actually put duct tape over that? What's going on? I mean, what was the book we learned in high school? 1984, Big Brother, right? Okay, so I don't want to, I don't want to come down. Lots of good people in government, but there's something else going on. So look, we have the world's first voice over blockchain phone. Okay, some of you are clapping because you know what that means. Some of you are like, okay, I guess I should clap now. <laughs> okay, what it means is your phone calls are 100% private. Yes. Okay. And also, this phone has the capability. You see that little triangle on the bottom there? It's an encryption. It's an encryptor. You can keep all your private data on that thing. All your, how many of you have ever lost private data in your computer somewhere? Or on a piece of paper, or and passwords, and blah, blah, blah. Ah. You get one of those and you pull it out. And you can keep extra copies hidden around. Folks, this thing, it's fully patented. It's the first in the world. You can only get it through Carol Bars. Wow. So regardless of people's interest in gold, they're going to come at, when they hear about this phone, they're going to come after you and say, where can I get that phone? Well, you can't buy it from the company. Okay? So, uh, these are some timelines set by the company. Uh, July 4, 29, you can exchange, so if you were involved before, you can actually exchange your 100 points for a gram of gold. You can actually go and do that. You want to go turn it into that paper stuff? Go ahead, or buy a house, or whatever. Okay. Now the next one is also a promise. January 2020, you can turn 75 of your coins 
you do a gram of gold. Now, these other ones are goals, not promises. They're goals, not promises. But you know what? I haven't seen care bars miss anything. They keep hitting deadlines. Yes, it's not a perfect company. We have technical issues. We're, you know, we're cutting edge tech, right? But look at the end game there. The end game is one coin, one gram of gold. What's the coin worth now, Greg? Four euros. Yeah, what's one coin worth? What is it? Four cents. How much is a gram of gold? Four euros. So four euro cents on route to 40 euros. Are you, have you got that? That's the goal. How are we doing it? Putting gold in the, in the vaults. Putting gold in the vaults. Putting gold in the vaults. Let the elevator go up. Your elevator. And uh, Joseph Height, who you'll see at the very end of this day, makes an outrageous statement. You want to stay and hear what this billionaire has to say. Pretty credible guy, but we were all shocked at what he said. We'll do that at about 5.30. Right, Brian? What, yes. We'll show what he said. Okay? All right. So remember this? In the beginning, gold was money. And we turned it into notes, back into the bank, we got our gold back. Now look, here's the new paradigm. I want you to get this. We have returned to the days of old. Okay? Be it currency, 130 nations. We're turning it into cash gold, doing the swap, which is really the crypto. Now we've got digital gold. You own the crypto, you own the gold. Our bank, not theirs, a global payment system, and then if you want to go buy your cow with your crypto, you can. All your assets that you get involved in here, they're gold. It's gold. It's gold. It's gold. Is it ever going to lose its value? What? Okay, here's the test. What's going to happen to the coin, the value of it? Are you sure? Yes. Oh, you're not sure? I'm telling you, we're putting gold into vaults. It's not theirs. It's the value of the coin is going to continue to go up. Full stop. <laughs> That's it. Okay? All right. So, <laughs> here's the question. Ready? Think about this really clearly and slowly. Okay? Someone comes up to you and says this. <coughs> Let me pick a name. Terry. Terry, if there was a way you could convert your dying fiat currency assets, into gold, and then convert it into a crypto that could be used instantly anywhere in the world via a global payment system. And what if the value of that currency, instead of declining in back buying power, actually increased significantly in value over time because it was part of both a complete independent banking system and an open source platform allowing anyone to participate, Terry, would you be interested in owning that coin? Absolutely. Good, because we had bouncers ready to toss you out if you said that. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's, there's an amazing offer going on right now, okay? Who, who'd like their, their wealth tripled in the next 24 hours? Like triple, like whatever you put in, you get triple wealth, instant, like 24 hours, yeah? Good, okay, great. Okay, so, here's what we've got. The phones are on sale. They're gonna be delivered in October, but they're on sale now. And you, it's a phone crypto package. A phone gold package. You can, you can spend 1,250 euros, by the way, if you want to convert to Canada, Canadian, just multiply it by 
or take half of the amount and add it on to the current value, okay? So, 1250, you get a phone, and 1250 euros in KCB. Just divide it by 14 cents, okay? Or 1750, you get a phone. Phone, valuation of the phone is 1250 euros. Or, and I'm sorry the print is so small to you at the back, 2850, and then they're gonna give you another 50% bonus in coins. Okay? So that's increasing your wealth 50% in 24 hours. Now here's the clincher. <laughs> here's the one that we bought, actually, yeah. Um, 4,000 euro package, okay? So here's what you get. By the way, how many here bought a 4,000 euro package? Got the phone and the coins? Okay, great. You'll see why in a minute. So the 4,000 euro K1 phone and KCB package, here's what you get, okay? And by the way, notice the title at the top. What's it say? This, does everybody in the world know about McDonald's? How many people do you think know about this? You're, you are an insider right now, okay? In the fall, it'll crack open to the world and you'll learn more about that later, but right now you're an insider, okay? So here's what you get. You get a 200% bonus in KCB coins. Are you crazy? Also, look, some people are here because they wanna hear about the product, which is the coins and the phone, okay? Some people are here because they wanna get involved in the business side of this. Both are absolutely okay. If you're in it for the business, you also get with this package a 3,000 euro business position. It's like a license to be involved in, in, in uh, talking about this business with others and getting them involved, okay? Huge. Does that sound like somebody? Huge. <laughs> okay. So, total value is 15,000 euros and the phone. That's why, um, that's why Dubai is so busy these days. Everybody is getting these phones and this package, okay? So it's like you're getting a 14 cent coin, because that's what the coin is on right now. It's a, it's 14, it's a 14 cent coin until the fall, okay? And you're getting it at just under five cents. So that's what the current deal on the table is. And by the way, it's over. Well, the, the deadline in Germany is May 12th, but there's time zones and events, so I'm telling people, May 10th. Get, if you're gonna do it, do it by May 10th, okay? And there's a way to get it free, but I'm gonna let Greg tell you about that, okay? So, again, please know, this is not just a coin. It's an entire financial ecosystem. And what are we doing? We're turning a broken, we're turning a broken, financial system into a gold-backed asset system that's fair and just. That's what's going on here, folks. And if you get it, if you understand how your wealth is being, has been, in, for generations, has been stolen from you, and now you have the opportunity to step into something new for you, for your kids, for your grandkids, we all should be jumping up and down. So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Greg Gary. I want to thank you. I appreciate you. Give yourself a hand. Thank you for Back to you. Okay, well done, Greg.